Guys, this is Palmy Pro Box Respect TKO. I'm down at Rumble's Boxing Gym with Charlie Rumble and his son Billy Rumble. Guys, how are we? How you doing, Palmy? Right, right, Palmy. Very, very good, very good. Very busy night tonight, guys. Yeah, Palm. It, uh, it's busy really because we're we're not in the gym for about three, four weeks now. Uh, there's a few missing they're ill, but we're buzzing tonight. You know, about 50 uh, kids in here tonight. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Yeah. All, all different levels as well, yeah. you know. Um, Billy, um, saw you uh, obviously on the uh, pads there with the, uh, with the kids. Yeah. Um, I know from your own background, uh, you was, uh, I'll say you was a professional, to and oh. um, was What's going on? No, I definitely was, you're right there. Uh, now, I, I, to, to be honest, Palm, I've done it more than anything to, to say I did it. Uh, I was never going to be any world champion or, or anything like that, but just to say I've been in a professional ring and, uh, and shared that atmosphere was, was good for me. Um, I enjoy training the youngsters now. Um, we've got a good squad coming through and yeah. um, I, I hope to go all the way as a coach. I'm always learning, picking up new things, so in, in the future I hope to be up there with the best coaches out there. So. Well, you look really good on the on the pads, mate, and uh, and some of the guys you've got there, and and mind you, boys and girls, yeah, you know, looking yeah. looking very sharp. You know, I think I might have seen the next Katie Taylor here. So, oh uh, yeah, I mean, to be <laughs> honest, Nell, Nell's had a bit of bad luck, and um, I've only trained her for one fight so far, um, and she she lost to the current uh, ABA champion, which was no disgrace there. Nell, over the last six weeks now, has been putting in a lot of graft. Uh, her weight management's been good. She's out in the mornings running. She's in the gym every night. And to be honest, there it, it is paying dividends. So please, God, she's out on Saturday night, and uh, hopefully she can turn a leaf in the book. So yeah. what, um, just if uh, any of the viewers can make it, mate, where's she fighting? She's fighting on the Eastbourne Boxing Club show. Uh, okay. Down in Eastbourne, obviously. Uh, be a good night. I'm, 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 I believe there's uh, about 20 fights on the card. All good fights. So yeah, if you can make it, come down and support. Excellent. I was saying to Charlie um, off camera uh, when we seen you on the bat on the on the pads there, mate. She looked really, really sharp. The jab, turning that right right hand in as well yeah. so uh, she looked really really nifty mate that's it it's good I mean I always say I'm, I'm a bit uh, critical sometimes I always say that pads don't hit back but uh, no she's definitely got it all there <laughs> she's got a lovely jab the power speed the variety of punches there as well so if she can carry that into the ring on Saturday night we'll, uh, we'll be coming away happy so let me ask you uh, you know you, you said you've sort of been there warm and t-shirt and everything so is there, is there potentially no comebacks for you no comeback for me no no comeback I'm, I'm okay. just starting a family now I've just bought uh, just bought my first house and uh, got a good job behind me as well. So, to Excellent. be honest, I've got a lot going for me, but I love giving it back to the kids and, and them getting a win is, is a good enough for me getting a win. So, it, it's, it's success one place, really. So. Excellent, excellent. Nice to hear, mate. By the way, Nobby, who's, uh, who's your mascot here, said you was more than just, uh, you know, you said you were never going to be a world champion. I think he begs to differ, <laughs> mate. So, just telling you, just telling you. Charlie, um, coming on to you, sir. Um, I've been hearing your name for a, a long, long time. Uh, it's a real privilege to be here today to, no, to, to see you. Me, you too, mate. Um, how did you get into boxing, mate? I started at seven years of age. I was queuing up at the limb one day in Woolworth, and um, Charlie Tucker came in, asked me uh, how old I was, and I said seven. He said I was too young. And I mentioned my dad's name, and he said, oh, <laughs> give me a kiss, and uh, I, I, I went on from there. Here, you know, and then I moved down from London, and uh, I went with uh, Medway Golden Gloves at the time with Bobby Beck. Yeah. And then I went up at St Mary's, took St Mary's over for 20 odd years, started producing national champions at England internationals, and just carried on from there, uh, Palm, you know. Excellent. Charlie, who are some of the names you've worked with, mate? Uh, I've worked with Johnny Armour. Um, Great Peter guy. Sto Peter Stoughton. Uh, Sam Kearns, Stanley Worthing, Rhys Simmons. The list goes on, really. The list goes on. The list goes on. Uh, yeah. Jerome Xavier, uh, Danny, Bennett. Danny Bennett, John Conby, uh, my own sons, like, yes. you know, uh, just on and on. <laughs> well, John, Johnny himself, as you know, he's, he's now uh, training few fighters but you yeah, know yeah, yeah, what what yeah. a name to train yourself yeah, yeah, as well yeah, you know he's yeah. the wbo w, sorry wbu yeah, yeah, world yeah. champion yeah he's a lovely he's a lovely kid Joey. he's lovely lovely, lovely, lovely guy lovely boy. yeah and yeah, and lovely. funny enough bill he's just starting a little family himself as well yeah so. yeah johnny's uh yeah he's lovely johnny's uh i, I know he's uh, his daughters as well um uh, yeah, lovely family lovely
Yeah, He's, he still looks like he's 25, doesn't yeah, he? He still looks, young. he looks yeah. younger than me. <laughs> yeah, shout out to you, Johnny, as well. Um, guys, I know recently you've had uh, sort of back-to-back -back shows, Rotherham and Liverpool. How, how did you guys get on? Yeah, so last weekend uh, we was up there with, with Martin Madonna. Um, Martin Madonna made it to the National Senior ABA final, uh, which was was a proud moment for me because my Although all the national champions, my dad's had in England internationals, I joined him up there. He's had one in the senior ABA final, so I joined him with that. Excellent. Um, uh, Martin boxed the number number five in the world and European champion Luke McCormack. And to be honest with you, we pushed him all the way. Uh, we're not going to say, you know, we, 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 it was a robbery or we should have won, but McCormack knew he was in a fight. He got a point deducted in the last round and uh, Martin has proved that he belongs up there with the best. So Martin's on England training this Saturday, hopefully he gets into the three nation championships. And to be honest, the, the future is bright for Martin Madonna. Saw him again on, you know, training on the pads, looking very, very sharp. And to be honest, to be fair, probably a fight that could have gone either way then? Yeah, definitely. As I say, I, I thought, to be honest with you, uh, I may be a little bit biased, I don't know, but I thought that we could have nicked it at the end and so did many others, uh, yeah. especially with the point being taken off. But credit to McCall, mate, he's a quality kid. Um, and, and I'm sure if the fight was to happen again, it will, it will, it will be just as equal. So. Mate, it's all about learning experience as well, isn't yeah, it? And, uh, you know, bigger and better things for Martin as well. Um, guys, I know the new gym's not far away now, is it? How's that coming along? That's coming along fantastic, Palm. It's uh, on over the moon with it at the moment. Uh, we're just waiting for the shutters to go in, and then it's all systems going. We'll get our three rings in, we're going to wow. have another ring. So <laughs> it, it'd be fantastic. It'd be done up beautiful. Excellent, excellent. So uh, it's, it's a quality gym, as I say. You see the kids here tonight uh, of all ages, all different experiences. Um, it's a great gym. Can't wait to be back in there. Now. As you say, three rings. It's going to be something special, um, and I'm, I'm sure it's going to be the best gym in Kent. So. Hopefully we've got a good good season ahead of us. I'm not just saying this, mate, but I was very very impressed with the with the uh, three sort of makeshift rings here today, from the eight or nine year olds all the way to the 20 year olds. Yeah. Um, quality sparring there, so uh, full credit to you guys. Um, just quickly before we wrap up, what's next for for you guys and and the kids here? Some major major teams. <coughs> we've got the schoolboys on at the moment. Well, schoolboys and school, school girls, school, should I say? Schoolboys and school girls on. Uh, so we've got six Southern County champions at the weekend in that, so that's great. And um, after that, we've got seven in the Harringay Box Cup, which is uh, Europe's largest tournament uh, at the Ali Pali, Alexander Palace. Oh, wow, yeah. Uh, yeah. June, June the 16th to June the 18th. Uh, Martin's in that with Anel and, and the other guys you see sparring tonight. So that's, uh, that's something special that is from the Friday to the Sunday. Excellent. Countries from all over. So. What date is that? Sorry, uh, 16th to the 18th of June at the Alexander Palace. So not not long now. Not long now. It's one of those um, amazing venues and a bit like the York Halls, but a bit of a forgotten yeah. venue, isn't it? But, it's fantastic. Uh, there, it's yeah. got five rings, and it's, it's, it is a, a great weekend. You know, really good weekend. Obviously. I'm going to have to try and get down there. Oh, you love that. You yeah. Love that. At the moment, I'm I'm travelling because Bill has to work Saturdays, so I'm travelling with the school boys and that and the girls. We're at Camberley on Saturday, then. The following week will be at Oxford. Uh, Milton Keynes the following week after that. <laughs> then, um, please God, we'll, we'll get a few in the final, you know. Yeah, yeah, God bless. Look, you know, I, I know from um, uh, last week I interviewed Don Charles and, and Don praises you amateur trainers very highly uh, because, you know, some, some of the work you guys do in the running around, it's, it, it's rewarding in many ways. In other ways, it's you know, yeah. uh, you're self-sufficient, aren't you? Yeah. yeah Self-financing yeah, yeah. and stuff. So, uh, all credit to you guys. I'm not going to ask you for the list of champions you've trained again, yeah. um, but what I will say is, is there anybody that you want to give a shout out to? Any thank yous, family, friends, fighters, anybody? Uh, the loyal ones. The loyal ones. Yeah, yeah, the loyal ones. Yeah, the loyal ones. But no, um, everyone's been behind us. Uh, Palm says it's happened to our gym, you know, and we haven't lost no kids, which I thought we would have lost kids because we had got the rings, but they're loving it, as you see tonight, they're, they're, they're loving it, and they're all loyal, so that's what I love about kids, and I love about boxing, you know, it's, uh, you meet so many nice people in the game. Excellent, you know. excellent, yeah, and, and look, for, from my point of view, Pro Box Respect, TKO, real privilege to be here, Lovely, um, and wishing you all the best for Cambly, Oxford, and, and onwards as well. Thanks, Barbara. Catch up with you guys. Thanks, Take care. Thank you.